Hello guys, welcome back to our lectures. So in this video, we're gonna uh, talk about floating point multiplication, and we're gonna explore, you know, an algorithm that can do floating point multiplication, uh, which can be converted, you know, into a hardware circuit that can do that. And we're gonna explain that by basically doing an example. Okay, so we're gonna consider two numbers here. Uh, the first number is 1.000 to the power of minus 1. The second number is minus 1.11 uh, to the minus 2. Okay, so I'm gonna go step by step here with the algorithm. So here is the algorithm that we're gonna follow. So in the first step, we're gonna add the exponent. So basically, if, you know, guys, if we're gonna multiply. 1 you know like 10 to the power of 1 plus uh, 20 uh, 10 to the power of 30 you know uh, this is basically 20 multiplied by uh, 10 to the power of 31 okay exactly here we're gonna do the same with binary so we're gonna add up the binary exponents the minus 1 and the minus 2 okay but there are something here. Remember that, you know, these two binaries, these two uh, exponents are represented as biased exponents. So basically, these two numbers should be registered, should be, you know, basically stored in some registers. And this exponent should be basically uh, uh, stored in a biased form. So the minus 1 will be 126 because it should be minus 1 plus 127 and the minus 2 will be 125. And this basically, you know, uh, 126 minus uh, plus 125 will be 1, uh, also, I'm sorry, 2, uh, 251. Yes, 251. 251, this is biased form, right? So to know the actual, you know, uh, the actual uh, exponent, we should subtract 127. So 251 minus 127, you know, this is 11, this will be 4, 2, and uh, 1. So 124. Of course, that's, that's incorrect. So basically, the, the addition here, minus 1, minus 2 is basically minus 3, not 124. So the you know the hardware or the algorithm must you know subtract 127 because basically this is biased this is biased so uh, you're gonna add two 127 two times so it's it's basically minus one plus 127 uh, plus minus two uh, plus 127 so if you do the addition directly you're gonna add the, the 127 two time that's why we should subtract 127 from this addition that's what happens here so minus 120 uh, plus 127 minus 2 plus 127 minus 127 if we do this the result will be minus 3 plus 127 okay which is the correct answer Minus 3 is basically the exponent, and 127 will be the exponent plus the bias. Okay, that's basically the, the first step. The second step is to multiply the significant. Is to multiply basically that guy here with that guy here. And forget about, forget about the sign. So let's do the multiplication and see how we can do multiplication in you know uh, floating point format it's really simple you know there is no much difference from you know the uh, the actual multiplications that we did with integers before so let's check here so the first uh, significant is 1.000 and forget about the point the second significant is 1.110 and again forget about the point for now so just ignore the presence of the boy is the binary point and do normal multiplication so first we're gonna have uh, one, zero, 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 0001 then we're gonna shift by one and I'm sorry this is zero and then we're gonna shift by one and uh, multiply one with the whole number so it will be like this another shift another shift and then this will be zero zero 0 
0 1 1 1 now where is the binary point you count how many bits the binary point is after and or before and just add them together so here is there are three numbers after or three bits after the binary point another three bits after the binary point so the binary point should be after six bits so it will be the the, 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 the multiplication of the significant is 1.110 because it looks like here we we have uh, three bits or four bits in total okay that's basically you know the multiplication again we forget about the sign for now the second or the next step is to do normalization normalization means we need the you know the uh, the significant uh, to be to have one here before one digit or one bit which and should equal to one before the binary point which is the case here so there will be no change you know for, uh, after this step and again there is no you know overflow or underflow uh, then we do the rounding and in that case again uh, there is no uh, you know uh, there is no rounding then uh, we uh, determine the sign this is the last step and in that case you check the sign of the first significant and the sign of the second significant if they, if they, if they differ then the output should have a minus sign okay that's really simple so uh, in multiplication and division you know uh, if uh, different if you have different sign then the output should be negative all the time so we should add minus here okay so basically the result if you have a result like this you know the first you know uh, bit of the single precision register will be a one because it's a minus then you have here uh, minus 3 plus 127 which is 124 then uh, you're gonna have here you know uh, basically the 1 1 and the rest will be just the zeros okay guys that's basically the floating point multiplication and the algorithm that do it thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video bye bye